Hi everybody, it's Andrew. Welcome back to the channel. Today we've got an unboxing and first impressions video. Um, yes, these were on offer on Amazon and I've wanted them for a while. So they were on lightning deal and they were £42. Now I have seen them for as high as 70 which I think is a lot of money, but not the amount of stuff you get. But um, oh, we got another box. Woohoo! Arteza, yes. This is the 120 count of colouring pencils from Arteza. And like I said, they were on a lightning deal of a hun um what was it? What did I say? 42? So they've been on at 49.99 to be honest, which is not a bad price. So I'm just gonna try and get this out. Yeah. Oh I like the tin. Oh, look at that, that's nice. It's upside down. So this is the 120 um, tin of the Artist Expert Coloured Pencils, 120 unique colours, that's the, so it's still in its plastic, there's the back with the colours, <gasps> I am looking forward to look, using these, I've been wanting these for a while, but they've been on, I'm sure they were on at £70 at one point, maybe it was my imagination, but anyway, because that's why I got the Castle Arts, they were certainly a lot more when I got the Castle Arts. Because that's why I got them, because they were only 40, I think they were 40, just over 40 quid. But anyway, they weren't very much, I don't know anymore. Um, so, yeah, oh, I can smell them already, I love it, I love the smell of pencils. I like the tin, oh, I like the fact that it's hinged. Oh wow, look at those colours. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, so, there's quite a few layers, I'm just going to have... A quick look so let's have a look so nice round round barrels we've got the name and color number on it they are sharpened but they are flat points and so they'll need sharpening up quite like a really hard sharp point on mine so I like the presentation I think the tin is nice um, I think it would be a bit of a pain though because of the having to lift them out to get to the layers underneath. But these pinks are beautiful, peony pink. I mean, oh, that's a gorgeous colour. So, so far, I'm very impressed with the, the, the layout in the box. Let's have a look at the next layer very quickly. Um, oh, look at those colours. It's a bit annoying that they haven't got all the yellows and all the greens together, and there's a few of each colour on each um, layer. Oh, those oranges peaches and cream ooh nice but oh and Tuscan Sun so I'm assuming that a lot of these colors are going to be the same as the Everblends I would have thought some of the names I'm not sure Robin Egg Blue I, I mean I might just try and put all the greens and all the reds together before I start swatching them and all the greys and all the blues because they, and all the purples because it is quite a mixed bag like, you know, we've got greens on every page and then blues and purples. Is that the last tray or is there another one? Oh, there is another one. It's quite a deep tray, which is different to the Castle Arts and like the Polychromos, which are a longer tray. Oh, we've got the gold in there and we've got some metallics, which is nice. I do like a metallic. Oh, dreamy blue. And then we've got silver. Unicorn purple. There's a great title for a colour. Copper gold and then we've got what's this here that's U ube purple royal purple lavender lots of nice purpley colors as well lots of reds that's the bottom there i'm very impressed with the color range it's very very nice i've got to be honest so i'm going to get my color swatch book out and i might have to rearrange them before i swatch them so that all the greens and reds together i'm not worried that they're if they're in graduate graduated shades but i do want them all to be together because it's very it's gonna be very hard to find them if you you know I mean they're, they're all over the place to me that's a very very strange way of packing them but I'm very impressed the pencils look beautiful sea blue sapphire blue oh but yes what's that green parakeet green I mean, the, the names are fabulous so I'm going to sort these out and then I'll get the swatch book and we are will start swatching them. I can't wait. Let's get on with it. Okay, so we're going to start swatching these now. I've got them all sorted out nicely, as you can see. Um, 
This is not in complete colour order as you can see because there's a green one there and there's a beigey brown one there. But this is the colour order as on the lid of the tin as you can see there. So I've just done it like that. I might um, go and get a full uh, swatch chart from uh, one of the other channels like Colour with Claire or so and so pencil stash has them. I just got to get to the right page. I have also when I find the page already written out all of the colour numbers and the colours so we don't have to worry about that so I'm just going to start now the first one obviously is white oh my phone's blinking here so obviously this isn't really going to show up but well actually it does a bit for me I can see it it's good so okay so very nice to hold next one is cream so I'm not sharpening these um, it's a very light cream isn't it I can hardly see anything I know people do love these so I'm really excited to try them out and I got them cheaper than they went on for Prime Day so they've been hanging around the house for a while and I haven't even touched them apart from sorting them the next one is called Sapphire Yellow. There we go. Oh, that's quite a nice colour. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's nice. So they feel nice in the hand at the moment. Next one, I think, is a chartreuse. They're not scratchy. Not scratchy at all. They're very, very nice to hold. Oh, yeah. That's a nice colour. I always like that colour. It's good for um, certain bits on plants. The next one is lemon. Oh, look how beautiful that is. That is a gorgeous yellow. I will have to get a uh, case for these, I think. Yeah, that's a nice lemon yellow. The next one is, a, is called jasmine yellow. It's a good, good whoops, you can't see. <laughs> good selection of yellows in this uh, set. Very good selection of yellows. It's a nice sort of paley colour. The next one is sunflower yellow. Before I use them properly, I will put a sharp point on them because I do like a good point. They are pre-sharpened, obviously, but they're not sharpened to a good sharp point for getting into small spaces. That's a nice colour. I can see why people rave about these, actually. They're very nice pencils, feeling them like so far. Obviously, the proof of the, uh, the pencil is in the colouring and... Uh, we will do a picture once we've uh, swatched them all. There we go. This one is Tuscan Sun. I always like cut colours like that. Nice. And the next one is Turmeric Yellow. Let's push this up so you can see. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, they do go on very nicely. They're very smooth and buttery to go on. I'm not pressing that hard, and I'm getting some great colours out of them. Okay, and the next one is Honey. Oh. That's a nice colour. Ok, 
Okay. Yeah, that is a nice colour. And then we've got, what's this one? Yellow ochre is next. So. a nice colour, look at that. Mm, very nice. I really can't wait to start a picture with these, I'm going to say. Uh, marmalade orange is next. So we're on to the oranges. Nice, I, I do like orange as well, it's a lovely colour. orange actually it's nice and the next one is apricot it's hard on this bit because it is right in by the um, page thing nice but yeah very smooth very nicely going on nice to hold they're not making my hands ache yet, like some pencils do. Don't have to push too hard with them, which is nice. And um, this one is our pumpkin orange, perfect for this time of year. Though hopefully you'll like, hopefully you'll see this before Halloween, but I'm not going to guarantee it. Maybe I'll do a Halloween picture if I can get the swatching done quite quickly. I might do. I've got plenty of them. That's an idea. Oh, I like, that is a nice orange. That is very nice. And then the next one I've got is ginger. Should be, yeah, ginger is right. <laughs> it's me, yeah. yeah. Let's have a look. That's a nice colour as well. Very nice. Oh yeah, I like that colour. Then the next one is just orange. Orange is good. It should be easier on the next section. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that one. Next is a blood orange. I'm just checking I have got the right one when I uh, pick it up. So we're going to go. I'm just going to. I do need to put something under there, really. Do I have a piece of paper handy? I should do. What's this? Oh, oops. Uh, is it pushing through? No, it's not. I'm not pushing hard enough for that. That's good. Blood orange. That's a very nice red orange colour. I think. Oh yeah, that is nice. This one is a vermilion. nice isn't it I do like these yeah they are very nice pencils they're worth the price definitely and like I said I managed to get them on a, a deal which was better than the Prime Amazon Prime Day deal. Uh, this one is Rust Orange. I like that sort of colour. Mm, 
yeah that does look like rust actually it's very good sometimes you get a rust color or a color that's called rust and it does not look like rust at all but to me this very much looks like rust it's a little bit redder on camera might show it better on the screen later depends on the calibration of your uh, monitor obviously but yeah that is a very nice rust uh, next one is burnt ochre just check that's right yeah burnt burnt ochre Again, that's another nice colour. They're very nice colours. They're very, very soft. No scratching at all on these at the moment. That's good. I hate scratchy pencils. Okay. Next colour is supposed to be coral. <laughs> it looks very bright to me. We'll soon find out what it looks like. Oh, that's nice, actually. how bright this uh, barrel is just put a bit more there that's better there we go the next one is supposed to be salmon pink again it looks very bright for salmon pink but I'm not complaining it is very bright for salmon pink nice nice colors I sound like a right moaning mini I'm not I'm just the, the barrel is a lot brighter than the actual um, pigment but yeah this is nice I mean I'm gonna be honest I'm never gonna be able to afford the whole binds or, the, or even Caran d'Ache Pablo's or luminance to try I can't see me ever affording them um, I'm experimenting with Neo Color 2s at the moment. I'm never going to be able to afford the whole lot. I'm going to have to buy them in open stock as and when I need a colour or want a colour. I just need to find a colour chart of all the colours. Um, but that's right. This is Rose Red. So it's nice to find budget pencils that you like. No. Well, I, I mean, never say never. I might be able to afford them one day, but you never know. That is a very nice red. That is beautiful. That's the kind of colour I like. And the next one is... Oops. Can't get hold of it. Should be a Venetian red. Yes, it is. Lovely. Again, another nice red colour. Now, there... Lovely. Okay, that's fine. Now, there we go. That's gorgeous, that colour. Look at it. I have now reached the end of the first tray, so I'm going to stop the camera and swap it over, and then we'll do the next one. All right, won't be a sec. Right, so we're going to carry on with the second tray now. I've swapped them around, and this one is Carmen Red, or Carmine Red. So they are very smooth. I'm looking forward to doing a picture with them. I really am to see what I think they're like and see how they hold a point because I do like a good point. A nice selection of reds. Not a huge selection but a nice selection. And then the next one is, if I can get it out, Crimson Red. Like I said, there's still no scratchiness, it's still going down very, very nicely. Obviously, this isn't the best paper, but it'll do. So, yeah. That's alright. Yeah. Let's just put a bit down, see what it's doing. There we go. Oh, very nice. Yep, that's quite nice. And the next one, whoops, push this back into its right slot, is Spanish Red. I 
Ooh, that's nice. Just a nice red. And then the next one we've got is cherry red. Oh, that's nice. Magenta. I hear magenta and I always think of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> That's better. It's covering better the way I'm doing it now. That's fine. I'm still apologise if you can hear people in the street outside. It's probably kicking out time in the UK now. All the pubs have got shut early. But, uh, to see. So I do apologise for the uh, noise outside. It happens from time to time. Go next one. Garnet red. Ooh. Ooh, that's a dark red, isn't it? Nice. so smooth if you haven't tried them they are the smooth smooth pencils they are very nice okay there we go I think I'm going to enjoy colouring the picture with these when we get to it Next one is Earth Red. That one feels a bit scratchier. But that's usually down to the pigment rather than anything else. And it is a strange colour. Actually, it feels better now. It probably just needed a bit of work. And then we're on to and cream. This is always a nice skin tone. The marker is nice as well for a base for your skin. It's quite pale so you can build up um, layers and blends and shading and Next one is pink macaroon or macron. Yeah, pink macron actually. There's only one end. Oh. Um, now, basically, the colours are the same names as in the 120 set for the most part, I believe. Um, though they're not all the same because we've got metallics in here and there aren't metallics pens in the 120 marker set. There we go. That's that one. And that's a nice one. And let's go back into the right hole. Let me just see. This one is now watermelon pink. This is a nice colour in the markers as well. So these will be good to use with the markers, I think, if you're um, wanting to do pencil work over the top because you've got the same colour shades and blends. So. I'll definitely be trying that as well. Although I still do need to get the, the skin tone set. That might be next month, but I, 
I do want to uh, order something else next month. But it's Christmas is coming, so I need to do presents. So we'll talk about that in a colour and chat. So peony pink. one is fruit punch I must admit the pinks are very nice colors in this set they're absolutely beautiful again the only problem with these is they don't sell them open stock uh, again I believe that the company is looking into this issue and trying to arrange something I don't know how true that is It'd be great if they did because you always get, you buy a big set because it works out cheaper in the long run, but you always end up using one colour more than others. Uh, plum purple, so we're on to the purples now. Nice. They are very, very smooth. no problems with those at all and the next one is fuchsia oh that's beautiful nice that's a nice color next one is flamingo pink I believe yes flamingo pink is correct Next one is lilac. I love these purples, by the way. They are absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Oops. Sorry, my TV's just come back on. I'm just going to... Put it back on pause. I was just watching some videos and it started on, went on to an ad and started for some reason. I don't know why. The next one is Orchid Purple. I like this in the pens. Here we go. Lovely. That is a very nice colour. I do like these purples. The next one is purple iris. Oh, look at that. That is stunning. Next is Burgundy. Just checking they're right up against the names, and they are. There goes the phone again. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's nice. Lovely. Yeah, these colours are, are really nice and vibrant and beautiful. Uh, eggplant Purple. Wrong way. I want to go this way, hand. Oh, 
Okay. And then the next one is wine red. Just push that up a little bit because we're near the end of the page and we're also at the end of the next tray nearly two more which will finish the page that actually does look like a wine red as well maybe a little dark and a bit more red needs to be in it but it does very much so and then the next one is violet Oh, look at that colour. That is a beautiful colour. I like that colour. That is beautiful. And the next one they've got is lavender. Yep, lavender. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful colour. Let me just pull it up a bit so you can see, sorry, the tin's actually in the way, it keeps banging on the tin. Hey, look at that, that is gorgeous, that colour, I like that. Okay, there we go, that's the end of the second tray. Um, I'm just going to go and get the third tray and swap them all around and I'll be right back. Okay, so on to the next um, tray. This is uh, Amethyst Purple, oh, we're back on the blinking end. <laughs> I just keep swatching these, very nice, very nice pencils. Nice. Royal purple is next. Hmm. Now my battery's about to run out, so I better change it. I'll just finish this one off. And then we'll carry on with the, these purples. Right, sorry about that. Next colour is Oob Purple. Get this back right where you can see it properly. got the window open so I do apologise if you can hear things um, outside yeah, it's just although it's uh, getting cold it's quite warm in this room today so I have opened the window to let some air in on to the bluer colours now so this one is periwinkle blue Colour. And this is Sky Blue. Just check the numbers actually match, the names match the one I'm actually colouring in the box. That's a beautiful colour. Yeah, I like that colour. Next one is Peacock Blue. Oh, that's a nice colour, isn't it? Oh, that goes down beautifully. So so far, I'm overly, I am, uh, I am impressed with the 
the pigmentation and the way they lay down and there's no scratchiness which is great so I am quite uh, liking them let's have a sip of my drink it won't be a sec next one is sapphire blue Yeah, these blues are very nice. I, I mean, I love... Red is my favourite colour, so I do like a good selection of reds. But uh, I also love blue and green and, you know, so... Actually, I love all colours. I mean, red's my favourite, but this selection of blue is very, very nice. And I'm looking forward to having a look at the greens when we get to them. This one is Egyptian blue. Yeah, that is a beautiful blue. So. This one is Ultramarine, isn't it? This one is blueberry. Very nice colours. I am actually very, very impressed with these colours so much. They are absolutely gorgeous. So I am pleased. I am pleased with them. Yeah, very pleased. I'm looking forward to coming on the picture in now. I've got it ready so we can start um, that pretty much straight after I finish swatching them. Uh, Indigo is next. Indigo is next. There we go, Indigo. Okay, next one should be Midnight Blue. Let's have a look at that one. Russian blue. It's lots of different blues which is lovely. Yeah, that's a nice colour. This one is Mykonos Blue, another gorgeous colour blue normally, so I'm assuming this is going to be, yeah, just as gorgeous as other blues I've seen with this name. Very nice, that is very nice. And then Sea Blue is next. so nice yes I like that I do like that one I must admit I do like these blues I keep saying that I must be boring you to death with all the other I really like this I haven't had a bad set of pencils that I've actually done 
a, a review of or a first impressions of but I think that's because I'm buying stuff that most people use but even using the Crayola, uh, Crayola ones are really good. Uh, Aegean Blue is next. Oh, now that looks like the sea close to the land when you're on holiday somewhere nice and warm or even sometimes in the UK if you get a beautiful summer's day or a beautiful sunny day it looks kind of like that. Nice. Uh, oops. Drop that pencil. This next one is Deep Teal. And we're up to the top on the next uh, uh, column. Because that's just how I do it. Nice. That is actually a really nice colour. This one should be jade green. Nice. And then the next one is ocean blue so back to blue we had one green which is a bluey green shade green anyway like green oh that is nice too look at that one thing I've missed this year is going to the seaside and next is robin egg blue We're on to a shamrock green. Very nice. That is gorgeous, that green. Next is turquoise, which is up here. Yeah, that's a nice colour as well. And lime green. I think we're on to the greens now. Oh, that's a nice colour. Sorry, I just pressed the button on my remote control. Uh, this one is uh, called Absinthe Green, I believe. Yes, Absinthe Green. Oh, look at that colour. Nothing like the barrel, but absolutely stunning. Oh, that is a great green for certain uh, things, potions and witchy pictures and things, I think. Uh, that's the end of the tray, so I'm just going to swap the tray around, get the next tray ready, and we'll carry on. Okay, back to it now. I've uh, got the next tray out. We'll ca carry it on with the greens. And the next one is a spring green. nice and the next one is called matcha green oh that's an interesting color i like that
There we go. And the next one is apple. That's a nice green, actually. Uh, mint. Oh, look at that. And then this one is parakeet green. And we've got spearmint green. Nice colour. On to the darkest now, the darker greens, basil green or basil if you're in America. Oh, that is nice. I like that colour. I love the way we pronounce things differently. It's just a culture thing and there's nothing wrong with it at all. It's just the way it is. Fern green. Nice. This is emerald green. Now this is a beautiful colour. Oh yeah, that is nice. Gonna have to get a case for these pencils, I think. They deserve it. Uh, forest green. We've got sage green. Next is jungle green, lovely. Like this one. There is a very good selection of greens. And when you're colouring books like Johanna Bassford's, um, there's lots of different leaves, you want different greens because, you know, otherwise they all look the same all the time. So it's great to have so many different greens. So, yeah. There we go, jungle green. Olive green is next. <laughs> and then we got moss green.
hair green. Oh, that's a nice colour. Coyote brown. Camel Brown is next. Oh, that is a nice colour. That is quite camel isn't it? Oh, I like that. Oh, then, what's this one? Raw Sienna. Lovely. I must sound so like a broken record. Lovely. Oh, I like this. Lovely. <laughs> but I do like these colours. These colours are very nice. They're very vibrant. I'm really looking forward to colouring with them in a minute in once we've done this. And I'll show you the picture we're going to be doing. Oh, I'm quite warm, actually. Raw Umber is next. This one is burnt umber. You see that with you? Ping. The phone again. Coco Brown should be next. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Espresso Brown. Dark chocolate brown. It's a nice colour. Last one in this tray. One more tray to go after this one. And uh, this is hazelnut okay let's swap the trays and do the next one okay let's do the last page the last tray which is here I've got metallics in here so I'm interested to see how they work because metallic pencils are always a bit hit or miss but let's start with the uh, rest of the browns that we want. So we're on cinnamon first. Gosh that's a beautiful colour. And then sienna. Mm, 
Yeah, another nice colour. Shadow Grey. There's a good selection of greys as well, so... And then we've got Concrete Grey. It's a nice colour grey. One is elephant grey. Yeah, that's a good grey. And we've got um, stone grey. Very light grey, that one. Next one is Mushroom Grey. Let's pull this up a bit. Here we go, Mushroom Grey. Very nice. Fog Grey. This is another light one and then they start getting darker again, so... Good for just taking a bit of white out of things like snow and stuff like that really. Then we're on to dolphin grey. Let's wait for it to focus back. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's hardly anything in those three, but there is. Dolphin grey now. Again, another light grey. That's quite nice. That is it, there we go. Yeah. Milk grey. Yeah, I like that. Yep, smoke grey, steel grey. Here we are, you can see that one. Out. I always find it's very hard with greys to actually see them when they get to the lighter colours but uh, that's a good colour. Next one is cloudy grey. Nice, that's a nice one. Koala Grey. Got pewter grey. That's a good colour. I do hate it when you're on this bit right in and think we left handed, it's very difficult. We are now getting very close to the metallics. Yay! Can't wait to have a look at those. Ash Black is next. No, nice. 
I don't get as excited about the greys as you can tell. And the next one is a charcoal grey. Oh, that, but that is a nice grey. Okay. Couple more normal ones before we uh, reach the metallics. Well, three more actually. So this one is onyx black. And then this one is noir. nice and then one last normal uh, before we get to the uh, metallics and this one is storm gray oh actually that goes on nicely Yeah, nice. Right, metallics. First one is called Unicorn Purple, which is a great name. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. It's quite sparkly. Oh, I like that. Let's give that a bit of a pressure. It's nice and soft. It's not scratchy at all. Nice. And then silver. Ooh, nice. I don't know if you can see how shiny they are, but they are quite sparkly. They are shiny. Very, very shiny. I find metallic pencils can be a bit dodgy, but they're actually not bad. Gold. Yeah, that's fine. Now, I'm going to say this, that these metallics are much better than the ones in the polychromos, which are so scratchy, I don't even bother using them, except for the silver, which is beautiful. The, the gold and the bronze are horrible. And I've tried using them and wearing them down a bit, and they just produce nothing. That is how you do a metallic. Two more to go, yay! And we've got copper. I like that gold. I will be using that a lot. Oh, that's nice too. That copper is gorgeous. Very impressed with the metallics, I'm not going to lie. If they would just put out a set of metallic pencils on their own, because I know I'm going to use my metallics up really quickly. <laughs> and the last one is called Dreamy Blue. And then they could put out some other colours like red and a deeper purple. And, oh, I'm wishing now, aren't I? Yeah, that, no, that is very nice. I'm I'm quite liking the metallics. Yeah, because like I said, they can be hit and miss with pencils. And in fact, the metallics in the Faber Castell Classics are better than the Polychromos ones, which is uh, quite odd because they're obviously a budget brand. So that is all 120 swatched. As you can see, we've done them all. So we're now, as I always say, the proof of the colouring is in the proof of the pencil is in the colouring. So we are going to colour in a picture from. And I'll just zoom out so you can see it properly. The Halloween special from Colouring Heaven. Normally, I pick one of my. Um, back stock of them because I've still got a few of those but I wanted to colour another picture in this book and we're just going to colour this one her name is Maggie so we in the next uh, issue, uh, episode of First Impressions our teaser expert pencils 
120. We will be colouring in Maggie. So I will see you in that episode fairly soon. Bye guys.